Hey everyone, it's Pat, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to our uh, little reality show we got going on here. Um, really excited you guys are uh, participating and watching, so uh, really want to thank you for that. And uh, I'm sure Laura appreciates uh, all the feedback and stuff that she'll get here as well and the interaction. We encourage you to interact, ask questions if you have questions about anything to Laura or myself. Uh, we'll be answering them right here um, in the post. So. Um, let's get started. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a little bit about uh, uh, what we're doing here today and uh, kind of my expectations of Laura over the last uh, week and stuff and, and see how she um, held up to the challenge. So um, the first thing I did was uh, well, I just actually watched Laura's video so as, um, you know, as I watch her video I'm going to you know, post a new video in response to hers and give feedback so uh, this will be the first time she's getting my feedback for the week. Um, you know, aside from some of the things we discussed for the week moving forward, so uh, basically, I, I last week I set up for her. I, first thing I had her do was start keeping a food journal so I could get an idea of what kind of food and stuff she's eating. Um, she jumped on that right away. She's been doing that, so that's good. And um, I laid out some foundational things for her, some rules and stuff um, to kind of help steer her in the right direction. The first thing I ha asked her to do was uh, read my ebook. Uh, I wrote an ebook. It's not really it's not published. It's I use it pretty much for marketing purposes and stuff. Uh, I'll never put it for sale, probably. But uh, uh, it's a, I think it's a great ebook. A lot of my clients have gotten a lot out of it, and it, it kind of comes from my heart and talks a lot about um, how to discover good reasons why to do things and um, creating a good attitude and a mindset uh, for for success and and changing your you know changing your health. So. Um, and those things can be applied to any area of your life. So uh, it's a great ebook. Hopefully, she's read it and she's cultivated that good attitude and that mindset to to move forward. So it's extremely important to have that uh, when you're trying to make changes in your in your health um, or any area of your life. Again, you know, because uh, if you think something's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult. Um, you know, it's going to be painful. It's going to hurt. All all those negative beliefs that you tell yourself. Um, that's exactly what it's going to be. So. Uh, it's important to recultivate a, a, a good mindset and a good attitude moving forward. So ask her to do that. And um, so, and if anybody wants a copy of the ebook, um, just leave me a, um, uh, a comment below and with your email address, and I'll send that out to you. I'm happy to share that with everyone. So uh, I laid some some rules for her. Uh, initially, I have four rules with working with anybody. Uh, the first rule is forgive yourself. Um, for anything you did or didn't do or bad choices you made or didn't make, um, people tend to um, carry their you know, their bad decisions with them and throughout their life and it's like they carry it around with them like luggage and all it does is it holds you back and it weighs you down and it stops you from becoming who you want to be so and that's our goal is to help you know help Laura you know become the person she wants to be uh, deep down inside and, and she's going to have to forgive herself for all the things she did or didn't do and, and focus on the goals moving forward and not what she didn't you know do in the past so uh, that's the first rule. Second rule is change is a choice um, it's a anything you want to change in your life it's just a matter of choice really uh, you can pretty much accomplish anything within reason and um, certainly obtaining better health and, and losing weight um, that's something that's very obtainable for anybody um, so you but you have to understand it's a choice and um, until you're ready to make that choice, you're probably not going to succeed. Um, so, I mean, it's, it, you know, you just have to, to realize that moving into it because, you know, some people say they're ready, but they're really not. Um, I've spent a little bit of time talking to Laura back and forth and uh, via email, then we spent about an hour on the phone, a um, substantial amount of time before I agreed to uh, work with her, and, you know, I think she's got the she's got the bug, she's ready to go, she's ready to make this thing happen and I feel like she's um, made the choice so um, it's just plugging plugging forward here and making it happen for her so uh, rule number three is to take immediate action uh, you know you, if you want to change anything in your life you gotta take action uh, there's too many people out there saying oh, I'm, I'm gonna do it tomorrow or I'm gonna start next week or I'm gonna start at the beginning of the month or how about the New Year's resolution thing um, that's just ridiculous. I mean, every year people want to work with me, and I and I don't I don't generally take on clients at that time of the year because most people aren't serious. Uh, it's just 
something they think they want to do and uh, they haven't really made the choice to do it and they're not ready to take action. Uh, taking immediate action is, is huge um, for making change in any area of your life. If you want to make change, start taking action today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next week. Don't wait till you have the money. Don't wait till you, you know, till everything is perfect and and hunky dory in your life to to make these changes happen. I mean, we are talking about your health here, uh, and it's, it should be extremely important to you. If it's not, then uh, you need to find some better reasons to to do it. So, uh, so Laura's done a great job of taking immediate action. She, um, I laid out some things for her this week, uh, told her she needed to do, and she's done them. Uh, so that's good. There's one thing that. I got a little hesitation with her from her when she was talking about um, uh, signing up for the gym. I told her she needed to get a gym membership. Uh, I got some resistance there initially, not a lot, um, but she pulled through and she went ahead and signed up uh, and she's been going to the gym all week, so that's really good, so great job, Laura. I'm proud of you for that. And uh, I mean, a gym membership is, is something very small compared to uh, what it does for you, you know. Uh, just getting a gym membership is not going to get you the results that you're looking for, but it is going to, you know, it is going to help you if you go in there, you work out every day. Uh, you need that environment, I believe, um, to succeed. So, uh, great job on uh, getting that membership and keep taking that action uh, moving forward. Uh, the fourth rule is uh, for her to keep in touch with me. Uh, she needs to keep in touch no matter what's going on. Um, you know, she's having good feelings, bad feelings, she's hungry, she's not hungry, she's, you know, whatever it is, whatever feeling she's having, it's uh, extremely important for me to know, uh, and she has been very good at keeping in touch with me during during the week uh, via email and phone, uh, let me know what's going on with her, she, you know, she's, uh, you know, having trouble in a certain area or whatever, she's she's let me know, she's been stressed out about something, and and um, thought about eating or something, who knows, uh, but it's important that I know her thoughts, uh, so she's been she's been really good good with that so uh, and that was pretty much it for the foundational roles that I laid out for some things I had her do uh, initially is to and this kinda goes for anybody so uh, stop eating fast food uh, you know immediately um, no more refined sugar if it doesn't come naturally um, you know it, it's you shouldn't be putting it in your body it, basically any added sugar in anything is, is completely it's just toxic for you it's not good for you at all uh, so and that goes for anyone. So um, she did that. She has been drinking vitamin water, though. Um, vitamin water sounds great uh, for you, but it actually does have uh, refined sugar in. So um, that's something I would recommend uh, cutting back on. Uh, had her eat breakfast. She never eats breakfast, so told her she had to start eating breakfast. Um, looks, you know, according to her food journals, it looks like she's been doing a good job of that. So great job, Laura. Uh, no sugar. I already. Sorry, I already said that. <laughs> um, 30 minutes of exercise every day. Uh, it's extremely important. She's done a good job of, of getting to the gym and, and doing something active every day, except for the day or two there she overdid it and she was too sore. So, um, But it's, um, it's extremely important to build a habit. It takes 21 days to build a habit uh, for the human body. It takes about 30 days to get into an actual routine. Uh, it's going to take about 12 weeks to significantly start changing your body, and it's going to take 12 months to change your life. So this is a long-term commitment. It's not something um, you can just do a couple days and, and get by with it. So I'm looking for a long-term commitment, and to do that, she needs to do something every single day for the first 30 days at least, um, even something small. So uh, she's done great with that. So congratulations, good job, Laura, and. Um, and then the other thing that I had her do was uh, start drinking water. So she hasn't been drinking a whole lot of water. Um, it's extremely important that she does that. So um, she started adding a big tall glass of water at least every day uh, into her diet. So that's been really good. Um, that's my feedback for the week. And she's done a great job overall. And um, just important to, to keep making that progress and taking that immediate action, Laura, and moving forward and, and not, you know, we talked about not making excuses, just doing it, and, um, and and you're doing a good job. So keep up the good work. Um, thank you, for, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, definitely check out uh, Laura's website and um, uh, check back here next week. So thank you, and we'll see you next week. Take care.